hot, she's sexy, she's funny, and wow, don't stop, get busy, we love it, your style. It's just another chapter in life, bought a new house after the night, no butlers and no maids, you gotta do your own thing your way. Go Kendra, go Kendra, go Kendra, go Kendra, you on your own now. Discretion is advised. Greetings, beautiful people. Now, I came across this article on Google titled Black Ink Chicago 4 Accused of Dating Transgender Picks by MTO staff. And this was uh, the news or an article written January 25th, 2019. A woman is claiming that four from Black Ink crew was dating her friend who is a transgender. The woman who made this explosive allegation is named Tiffany Banks, and she appeared on last night's episode of Black Ink Chicago, but many of her scenes were edited out by producers. A few months ago, an explicit video of Black Ink crew for leaked and has caused him and his girlfriend on the show Nikki to break up. Nikki eventually left the show, but Four's Video was different because in it, specifically focusing on his booty, led leading some to suspect that he may have gay or bisexual tendencies. Well, VH1 flew out the girl that he was messing with and her best friend. Before the show aired, Tiffany won on the one of the girls, went on social media and promoted the show and her appearance on it. So this person on Instagram, I'm assuming, name is I am Trinity Banks. And it says, catch us tonight at 9 p.m. on at VH1's at Black Ink Crew Chicago. This is an episode you won't want to miss. Talk about some hot steaming tea. Can y'all guess who my best friend is at second underscore two underscore no one? has been creeping with and monkey face oh we messy outfit by at shop akira after she realized that many of her scenes are removed from the show tiffany declined to spill the tea on what she says happens tiffany claims that their scene was cut because she claimed that her friend who she says for was a mistress is transgendered and it says, I am Trinity Banks commented at underscore M-I-L-A-A-N-N-N. Sorry, boo, VH1 actually flew us out to Chicago from Ohio to get guests, to be guests on the show, paid for everything. First class round trip flight, car service, hotel plus we got paid. They just edited out the actual reason we were there because Forrest stated threatening suicide stated threatening suicide and was saying he was going to quit the show. The T was my best friend, was for his mistress, and the one he was sending them freaky ass videos of his ass to. But the real T is she is trans and they had sex a few times, but they cut out all that shit. And yes, we have all the receipts low. And just know we have Mike's and that's why we can clearly hear me arguing with her ass. Alrighty, that's the girl. And wow, I knew so four is a homosexual who's trying to pretend to be straight. Now, bro, I don't believe in being bisexual. If you're a man and you've had sexual relations with another man, and you know that a transgender woman is a dude. It doesn't matter if you cut your ding ding off or castrate it. You're still a man <clears throat> because you don't have your period and you cannot have babies. So for 
I can't believe you, but it doesn't surprise me. Most men you see on fucking TV are homosexuals and they disrespect their black women or woman. And I'm so sick of this shit threatening suicide. See, I be telling people, whatever you do comes to life. And no matter how much you try to cover this shit up, you are going to be exposed. And I before, it's so funny, I talked to my best friend, Cypher Supreme Raw, and I said, I bet you Nikki broke up with his motherfucking ass because of those dirty pictures he was sending of his ass being naked on the, um, whatever that little thing he was writing on, I bet you he was sending it to that transgender woman. Now you want to threaten suicide? But see, motherfuckers don't think Tell the truth, because like I said, whatever you do in the dark comes to light. So now you want to threaten suicide and to quit the fucking show. Bullshit. Once you are on a show, they have a right and you sign a contract to disclose whatever stuff you want to put on there. Now, we all know last season... Four and the Black Ink Crew Chicago very much messed up Four's chance of making it big because they couldn't stop fucking fighting. So, like, what do you do, actually, besides rapping? I never really heard your music for, but you want to play on suicide? This is not a fucking joke. This person, whoever her name is, I mean, his name is, can go down and um do interviews and make the money, so... Stop using suicide as a fucking excuse. And Nikki, you better not take this homosexual man back. Now, I feel strongly that if you are a gay man and you like women, you have every right to tell the woman, hey, I like men too. This is why I'm terrified of dating because you never know who you're dealing with. Thank you for listening. Please click the notification button, subscribe, comment, and share this video. I love you all and have a wonderful day. Peace and blessings.